Thank you. The gentleman yields back. <clears throat> Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Crane, another one of our new great members from, <clears throat> from this state. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to wave on to this committee. Thank you to my colleague, uh, Mr. Siskamani, for hosting this in his district. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing us to have this here. Thank you, everybody in attendance, and uh, thank you to the panel for showing up today. I'm going to read you guys a uh, quote. I want to see if you guys know where this comes from. We're a nation who says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. Anybody know who said that? Yep, bingo. And those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. Anybody know who said that? <clears throat> yeah, candidate Biden. One of first quote was 9-12-19, second quote was 6-27-19. Anybody that has a brain in their head, ears, eyes, knew exactly what was going to happen as soon as this individual became the president of the United States. They, 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 they were going to throw that border wide open. Why? I, a lot of us are asking why, and I think we're going to get into that today. I think, I think because they don't give a damn about you guys. That's what I think. And I've, I've been in enough of these hearings. I'm on the Homeland Security Committee. I, I'm not going to mince words anymore. I've talked to enough families that have lost their loved ones to fentanyl, MS-13 gang members, individuals on the terror watch list. We've talked to you know hospital administrators talking to us about how overrun their, their facilities are. I've seen enough of the data, enough of the evidence. Do you guys think that President Biden and Secretary Mayorkas don't know what's going on? Do you think they haven't heard enough information yet? I'm just, I'm, I said I'm not going to mince words. I think it's treasonous. I absolutely do. All right. I just looked up. Yeah. And I know that some people say, oh, that doesn't reach the legal definition of treasonous. In, treasonous involving or guilty of the crime of betraying one's country. Do you guys feel betrayed? Yes. I know I do. I know I do, and I know a lot of you guys do, too. Um, I'm going to read you guys something uh, from the uh, Constitution of the United States. This is Article 4, Section 4. The, Unar the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a republic form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion. Do you guys think that President Biden and Secretary Mayorkas swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States? No. Yep, they did. Are they doing that for you guys? How about, what do you think, Mr. Klim? Are they doing that? I don't think they're doing it to the best of their ability, that's for sure. Best of their ability? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Klim, why do you think they developed an app to make it easier to get people into this country? All the things that this administration has done in regards to the border are like giving somebody a bucket to bail water out of your sinking boat as opposed to fixing the leak. And that's what that app does, is to facilitate people in and in their minds get them out of Border Patrol's custody quicker. It has nothing to do with securing the border. The border is a national security uh, threat if we don't get it secured. So yes, it's about facilitating people into this country, not forcing people to do things the right way. All right. You guys all have smartphones, right? Why do you guys have apps on your phone? Navigation apps, music apps, to make it easier for you guys to do certain functions, right? That's why they created an app, guys, to make it easier for them to flood this country with illegals. And we could, we could sit here and we could talk about the different reasons why they're doing it, but the bottom line is this is a complete dereliction of duty, and they are betraying you, the American people, they don't, they don't care. They don't care. Mr. Karchner, what do you think, sir? You think, uh, do you think this administration is stupid? Do you think they don't know what's going on? Do you think they're, do you think they're so foolish that they don't know the havoc they're wreaking on the American people? I, I would dare say that it's, uh, it's no longer ineptness that, that's going on. I believe there is some uh, truth to the corruption. It's tough to ascribe anything else, isn't there, after this point? I mean, guys, it, I had a hearing this week in Homeland Security, and this, this hasn't even become very mainstream yet, but it was about um, different foreign adversaries using direct weapons, direct energy weapons against U.S. citizens. 
that completely incapacitate citizens of the United States. You guys might have heard of it called Havana Syndrome. And then we went down to the skiff and we got a classified briefing from some of the people on the on the panel and it was one of the most I'm a former Navy SEAL so I traveled around the world and hunted bad guys for a long time but I can tell you this when I went down to that skiff it was one of the most terrifying briefs that I've ever been a part of okay this is how brazen our enemies are becoming because of how foolish corrupt incompetent and I would act, act, actually say wicked we have become and our leadership has failed us at every turn. So um, this next election is going to be important. Thank you guys for coming. Mr. Chairman, thank you for uh, allowing me to speak.